Okay, so I've been reading a uh, bi biography of James K. Polk, and uh, in the most recent chapter, one of the things I've realized is politics really does not change. So wh when you look at the main issues of the era for when Polk was running, you have the annexation of Texas, so imperialism, you have slavery, so race relations, and you have tariffs, so free trade. Free trade, race relations, and imperialism. Kind of sounds like today. <laughs> like, like, yes, they are different extents. Like, race relations is definitely not as bad as it was in slavery. And, like, imperialism isn't in, like, the we are annexing you, but more in the we're going to permanently, like, occupy you with, for who knows what reason, we're still in Afghanistan. But... Like, the actual issues they faced aren't that different from the issues we face as a country. Like, the core issues still are there. And then um, another thing is with campaigning, politics has always been dirty. It, it just has. Like, it, Polk apparently, like, you couldn't really knock him on most of the things you could normally knock a president on. Like, he didn't, like, drink. He wasn't, like, like, he wasn't, like, a big gambler or anything like that. So, like... You couldn't really knock him on character, so they went to, like, his family history and tried to pretend his grandpa was, like, not a patriot, which I don't even see why your grandfather not, like, your grandfather not uh, supporting the revolution would negatively affect you, but apparently it was something, like, a line of attack that they tried to use on him, which, like, that just doesn't make sense to me. And then, like, another thing, like... The attempt to relate to people in an idiotic way, during the uh, election, they both tried to make jingles, and it's like, um, so this would be for Polk. The Democrats will be triumphant, the ladies their charms will display, and no man will they marry who will vote for old Henry Clay. Like, that's apparently supposed to be said in, like, relationship to, like, Yankee Doodle Dandy. And it's not as bad as the Whigs one. Like, hurrah for Henry Clay. Nobody care for Tyler. Van Buren out the way. And Polk will soon burst his boiler. Like, at least Polk's rhymed. <laughs> like, like if, if you're going to have a rhyme, have it be, like, the lower one. But, like, seriously, like, Pokemon, go to the polls, people. Like, <laughs> if you're going to try and do, like, a jingle or something like that, at, at least make it good. <laughs> like, like okay, the Polk one is at least passable. Like, I, I can, at least it rhymed. But, like, Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> like, so the issues haven't really changed. Politics is still dirty. And politicians are still trying to relate to people with idiotic things that they don't actually have. So, uh, yeah. Apparently politics is pretty much the same as it was in Polk's era.